extra time. Just the way we were communicating, the way we were uh, chatting, I, I, I told Ta Saket the first day I got here, I said, whenever we play together, you lead. I think he's a really good leader. Um, there are not many good leaders out there on, on, in India. You know, most, most of the guys like to follow. And having played with 107 players, I kind of know personality is not so bad. And uh, this guy's a leader. He, he gets out there and he'll say, in, even in tough moments, he goes, Lee, just crack your return. You know, the guys are going cross court, take it down the line, go for it. And uh, I like that. I like someone who's out there and leading and working with a perspective of trying to win. You win some, you lose some. But if you're doing the right things over and over again, you're going to win more than you lose. And that's what I was very impressed with this young man. Um, I really enjoyed myself. And if you give us another two, three, four matches together, I mean, I think we'll, we'll do really well uh, to build a partnership. I think that's the selection committee and the captain's uh, choice. I've always believed that. But uh, considering that the way we played to get today against the gold medal winning team and that to a 14-time Grand Slam champion and, and uh, Mark Lopez who's just come off winning a Grand Slam, I mean, good God, uh, it would be crazy to switch something around. But uh, at the end of the day, like I said, I'm here to support the team. When the team needs me, I go out and play. Um, I'm actually very interested and I have a little long sight. Um, sometimes people believe in it, sometimes they don't. Um, when they haven't, we've seen how we've done. When they have, we've seen how we've done. For me, um, if I say something on record, I believe in it. And I'm going to say it again. We've got Nation Games coming up in 18 months. <clears throat> we've actually got an Olympics coming up in four years. So, whether I'm around or not around, I've got to nurture these guys, man. Otherwise, four years from now, again, you're going to be like a tussle for who's playing in the Olympics and come back all tali maroing. <clears throat> I can very, very clearly say that this Olympics and the last Olympics, we didn't put the best teams forward, very clearly. This Olympics, the mixed doubles was a huge opportunity. What more does a man have to do than win four Grand Slams in 14 months? There were no other tournaments there to win. I couldn't create any more tournaments to win and still not get a chance to play the mixed doubles. Sad. So, long story short is, nurture these kids, give them a chance. See, I've played Rafa many times. I've played him in the Dubai finals. I've played him in Palm Springs a few times. I've played him in Miami a few times. Um, Rafa's one of the greatest players of the game of tennis. There's no weakness in his game. But when you're playing doubles against a singles player, you try and make his life as uncomfortable as you can. And if you do that, and there are certain strategies I'm obviously not going to give away, but if you are able to make your opponent uncomfortable for a long period of time, generally you're going to win more points. Today, it just shows what a champion he is. We got him right there, making him comfortable right in the first set, right at the end of the first, winning the first, right in the second, breaking his serve in the second, right to the threshold of winning the second. And yet he found a way out. He played a great third set. He got so much energy after winning that second set tie break. And with a champion like Rafa, you give him energy, good luck to you. It's never easy, I mean, especially like two, two baseline, like heavy topspin players and they're, they're trying to like hit big forehands and all the way and of course like Lee was digging out so many balls and they were tough like some of the balls they were hitting like down the line like almost like probably two inches like close to the uh, sideline it's never easy like if, as a doubles player you have to give up certain options but then yeah, we had to like change a little bit like where I have to take a lot of uh, so, um, alley balls and all that and leaving up to I mean for him to take up a lot of balls and he did outstanding like helping me out like that way I mean it's tough like you know, the, their forehands are like so heavy and and the returns also every ball's going to be coming back and you have to keep playing but we I thought we fought pretty hard in those and think uh, unfortunately like you know some of the games they returned really well and put pressure on us there if he wants to play some doubles uh, I would enjoy playing with him on the tour um, I'm not sure what we've got going on for Chennai Open yet um, but what I saw out of there, uh, geez, if I get Sakit for six months and if he keeps working hard and enjoying his tennis, um, this, guy, this guy, I mean, you're going to laugh. But I've had a lot of partners who are less talented than, than him. He could win a Grand Slam with someone else also, not just with me. He's a hell of a player. His serve, his returns, his game, if he just keeps on honing his skills, fitness-wise, last five sets, like Wimbledon is five sets, you know, he keeps honing his skills, playing the right shot at the right time. I'll put this on record today. This guy can be a Grand Slam champion. He's a hell of a player. Today I was playing for a record and I would love to get the record with this young man and uh, to go out there and keep enjoying my tennis just because I enjoy it, not for anything else. Just because I have fun.
I can show other people like what you said, that no matter how old you are, you can keep enjoying what you do and be passionate about what you do. And if you're passionate about it, you can play not so good. You can, all, you can, you can win some things, you can be something you know, big in the world. So to motivate people, to keep motivating these youngsters, also down on my bench, there were maybe about six or seven or eight juniors out there. And when they see me handling situations like this, they encourage so much, communicate with them, one day they will be on the court playing. So hopefully they learn some things and they can carry the Indian flag for many years to come. I think this boy can.